This is a help video for the Laplace Impedance Simplification Game, Level 2. So we'll go ahead and go into that game. Now normally, of course, if you haven't already completed it, you would need to do the introductory tutorial uh, that describes the concepts of impedance in the Laplace domain and how to compute them and combine them. So we'll skip that for now. And now we have the ability to either look at, at examples or to work problems. And it's always a good idea to look at some examples first so that you're prepared to work the problems. So we'll show an example here at the medium level or the level two. Okay, so we have here um, an example with four elements. Uh, we have two resistors, inductor, capacitor, here shown in the time domain, since we have Henry's and Farad's. And we'll go ahead and generate the solution of that. Again, this is assuming zero initial conditions. And now the goal again is to find the input impedance looking into this, uh, these, this set of terminals. And we've converted here first to the Laplace domain using the formula that the capacitive impedance is 1 over SC, where C is the capacitance, and the inductive impedance is SL, where L is the inductance. So the 4 ohm stays the same, the 3 ohm stays the same, 1 Henry becomes S ohms, or 1S, and the capacitance becomes 1 over 7S. Then we proceed to combine elements. So these two are in series. We can either start with these two in parallel or these two in series. So here chosen to do those two in series first. And adding those two elements, we had 1 over 7s for the capacitor and 3 ohms. Now we need to put that over a common denominator, which here would just, of course, be 7s. So we multiply this by 7s over 7s. That gives us the 21s. And then the 1 here is carried over, and then 7s in the denominator. And then the next job would be to combine these elements in parallel. So it shows taking the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals of those two impedances, i.e. the uh, sum of the admittances. And so we have 1 over 1 fourth plus 1 over uh, s. And you could also express that as the product uh, over some form if you like, um, which is convenient here probably. So that would be 4s over s plus 4. Uh, again, writing all the polynomials uh, from highest order to lowest order in standard form. And the final step would then be to add those two impedances in series, which in this case is 4s over s plus 4 um, for the z2, and the z1 is the 21s plus 1 over 7s. And we identify the common denominator here as just being 7s times s plus 4. And so we multiply this by 7s over 7s, and that will give us uh, 28s uh, squared. And then here, uh, multiplying by s plus 4, we'll get 21s squared. So the sum of the 21 and the uh, uh, 28 there will give us a 49s squared. And then, we, again, we have to multiply this by this, uh, write out the terms, combine them. So it's not showing all those details here, but it's 49s squared plus 85s plus 4, all over the common denominator of 7s times 7s plus 4. And notice that this does not need to be factored. The denominator here is, happens to already be factored, but it isn't necessary actually to factor any of these terms uh, to have the answer accepted. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and work uh, two example problems as required at this level. So here's the first problem. Um, once again, we have inductor and a capacitor and a couple of resistors here. Again, looking for the input impedance. So our first task, as always, is to convert the reactive elements, their values, into impedances. So remember the formula for capacitance would be 1 over SC. So we're going to enter that as 1 over parentheses um, uh, 2S. And remember that those parentheses are absolutely required in the denominator. Otherwise, you'd be taking 1 half uh, times S, which would not be the correct answer and it'll also automatically convert the fraction in that case to a decimal. Okay, then this one would just be 3 times s, 3s, um, the unit's already given here, um, so that's uh, complete now. And of course we could write s3 if we prefer, 
We'll check those impedances. And those are correct. And of course, if you ever needed help at any stage, then you can repeat the introductory tutorial, you can uh, request written help, or you can look at the video help, which you're doing now. Um, and you can also give up at any stage of a problem for no penalty and be given a new problem after seeing um, the full solution. So that does not affect your grade at all uh, to give up. Okay, so now we're ready to start combining elements here. Um, we can't do anything with this element in this one because they're neither in series nor in parallel. Um, so we have to really work over here. So we have the two elements in series. Again, those are in the same pair of nodes. Uh, sorry, the same pair of meshes, I mean. Um, and at this level, we don't have the ability to color nodes and meshes, but hopefully um, that's something that you're already familiar with. So we would click on the combined series elements uh, value there. And now um, I'll bring up uh, the algebra that and I'm going to just, oops, well, I have to minimize my screen first and then do that. Okay, so we'll go back and repeat that. So combine those series elements. And now I've just done that here on paper. So we take the 5 ohm plus the 1 over 2s. And we need to put that over the common denominator. So the common denominator here, of course, would just be 2s. That's all there is. And so we'd multiply this by 2s over 2s, giving us 10s. And then the 1 from this carries over. Uh, to 2s. So that's very simple. Um, we do need to write it again in standard order, not 1 plus 10s, but 10s plus 1. And the denominator is fine. Um, so we'll just go ahead and enter that. Uh, so we just put parentheses around the numerator, which are required in this case, because otherwise uh, we wouldn't be dividing the entire thing by 2s. And likewise, we also have to have either parentheses or square brackets around the denominator, because again, if we didn't, we'd be dividing by 2 and multiplying by s, which is not our intention. So it's the same thing as if you're doing calculation with a calculator. You have to use parentheses whenever they're required by the standard PEMDAS or the uh, order of operations. So, um, and again, if I'd entered this in the wrong order, like 1 plus 10s, it'll just tell me that I have to reorder it. Um, that will not count as an error against your error limit. So um, that will just be, a, uh, but it's easier to do it, of course, this way. Okay, so that is uh, correct. And then the next job um, here would be uh, to combine these two elements in parallel. We, of course, can't do anything yet with the three ohm. So I'll click on those two, just as in all the other simplification games. And then we'll click the button to combine those in parallel. And now um, we worked out the algebra here. So since we're combining in parallel, it's probably easiest just to add the admittances or the reciprocals of the two impedances. Remember that admittance is what we call the reciprocal of impedance. And it has the uh, notation y. So y2, I'll call it, is going to be the sum of the admittances of these two elements. So the z1, its admittance, becomes the reciprocal, which is just 2s over 10s plus 1, as I've indicated here. And then the reciprocal of 3s, of course, is just 1 over the quantity um, 3s. And now we have to put that over a common denominator. So here, um, these have no other common factors, so it's just 10s plus 1 times the 3s, and I'll put it in this order. Um, and now we just cross multiply here, so we have the 3s over 3s times this will give us the 6s uh, squared term. And then uh, for this term, I have to multiply by 10s plus 1 quantity over 10s plus 1. And so that just gives us, uh, multiplying by the 1, of course, that just gives us 10s plus 1 here. And then the common denominator, the 3s times 10s plus 1, and that's in Siemens, um, but we're going to take the reciprocal of that then to get the input impedance, which is what is requested um, as for the combined impedance, not the combined emittance. So we take the reciprocal of that, which of course just means flipping it upside down. So we have 3s times 10s plus 1, and then the denominator being the 6s squared plus 10s plus 1. Now I didn't include parentheses here because I'm writing it on paper in um, uh, you know, divide, uh, form of advisor but I will need to do that when I type it in. So here I have 3s uh, times 10s plus 1. Now, I could enclose the entire numerator in square brackets here, um, but it's not really necessary because standard of order of operations means that I'll multiply the 3s times the 10s plus 1 before doing the division. So that's fine as written. Don't really need the extra brackets. And then the denominator, um, I do need to enclose those in either parentheses or square brackets. And remember that for powers of s, I use the caret key there. So it's 6s squared um, plus 10s plus 1. And then I'll close the parentheses. 
and so that should be fine. And again, I don't need to factor um, anything here. Um, the denominator does not need to be factored for this game because we're not going to take any inverse transforms in this type of uh, impedance simplification. Okay, so that's been um, accepted. And now our last step would be to combine uh, the Z2 impedance and the 3 ohm, which are obviously in series. They are in the same pair of meshes. And any current going through Z2 clearly has to go through 3 ohm as well. So they have the same current, which is the definition of series. So now we'll combine those in series. And here I've done uh, the algebra. So we have the Z2, which was this expression, adding 3. And so once again, we must put that over a common denominator. So here, our common denominator is just the 6s squared plus 10s plus 1. Um, and so uh, in this case, because we're going to be multiplying this times this, um, you remember the normal goal of algebra is to factor out, not to distribute in. People often make the mistake of distributing in when they don't need to. But this is one case where you do want to distribute in so that we can combine the two polynomials we're going to have in the numerator. So I will actually multiply this out. So that gives me 30s squared here. And then this term, of course, is just 3s. And then the remainder comes from multiplying 3 times 6s squared plus 10s plus 1. Um, so writing that out, that's 3 times 6s squared is 18s squared. 3 times 10s is 30s. 3 times 1, of course, is 3. Um, and now uh, that's all over the common denominator, the 6s squared plus 10s plus 1. And then I just simplify. I cannot enter in this form because it's not properly simplified. So the 30s squared plus 18s squared, of course, gives me 48s squared. And then we have the uh, 30s plus 3s gives me 33s. And then the 3 carries over. And now one thing before I can enter that into circuit tutor, um, I should look for any common factors because again, the goal of algebra normally is to factor out, make things uh, in the simplest possible form. Um, so I am required to do that. So I can see easily that this has um, a factor of three in every term here. And so I'll factor that uh, three out, of course, four plus eight is 12, which is a multiple of three that tells me that's a multiple of three. So we factor out the three and that's a 16 S squared then plus 11 S plus one. And that's the denominator. So I'll simply enter it in that form. So I again type six, three times the parentheses, 16 S carrot two squared uh, plus 11 S plus one. Again, making sure that I'm entering this in order of decreasing powers of S as is normal in algebra. And then again, I can use square brackets. I guess I'll just use those these, this time to illustrate 6s squared plus 10s plus 1. But I could also use the parentheses. But whatever you use, they have to match. Um, and curly brackets are not supported. So just use parentheses or uh, square brackets here. And that should be uh, correct now. So I'll enter that. And that's our final answer. So now I just press the cannot simplify further. And remember that at any stage I could have uh, repeated the introductory tutorial, looked at the written help. And by the way, the written help, I'll just show you, has a special feature here where you can view uh, uh, help on the rational function syntax, which is what I was entering there. So you can look at um, the various rules that apply um, to that. If you have any question about it, normally it'll give you feedback. So you may not need this cheat sheet, but if you do, um, this shows you basically the kinds of things you uh, can enter and the th kind of things that will not be accepted and the various rules that apply to that. So um, that's always accessible from the uh, help uh, button. Okay, so I'm going to close that back up and we'll go over here and close that out. And then I'm just going to press cannot simplify further. And as always, it'll give you a transcript, um, which you can use in reviewing or studying. That's basically just a PDF file that contains all the steps you took, both correct and incorrect, um, with the incorrect one marked in red. OK, so now we'll do a second problem, just to illustrate a little bit more. Um, so this problem, again, similar type. I have two resistors, a capacitor, and an inductor. So once again, um, the first step here, and I'll just expand this right now, um, is going to be to convert from the time domain where I have farads and henrys into the uh, complex frequency or Laplace domain where I have only ohms. And so remember it's one over SC, so that's going to be one over the quantity 9S. This is 
we have that very large uh, capacitance value, unrealistically large probably in most cases. And then the 4 Henry becomes 4S. Okay, so again, we can check our impedances there. And again, don't forget the parentheses, that's the critical thing. And I could have written this as 0.111 divided by S as well, but I just chose to write it that way. Okay, so now I have to simplify this. And now I recognize that these two elements are in series, being the same pair of meshes. Um, and so I'll click on those and then click the Combine Series Elements button, as is typical in our simplification games. And now, um, oh, sorry, I have to minimize that before I do that. Okay, so let me just try to show the relevant things here. Okay, so there's the uh, uh, algebra that I need. So let me do that again. Combine the series elements. Okay, so now we have 4s plus 1 over 9s. So once again, over a common denominator, which is, of course, just going to be 9s here. So I multiply this by 9s over 9s, giving me 36s squared plus the 1 from here divided by the common denominator 9s, that's going to be in ohms. So I'll just enter that value. Again, using parentheses uh, for the numerator here, because otherwise I would be dividing the entire numerator by the denominator, which I need to do. And then also I need to have parentheses or square brackets on the denominator. I can use square brackets or parentheses in either case. And again, going from high power to low power. So that would be uh, the answer. We'll check that and it's just showing it briefly while it makes the transcript. And then we see that we now have the 7 ohm in parallel with the Z1 impedance, which is printed here. So again, because we're in parallel, I'm just going to add the admittances of those two elements to get the total admittance, which I'll call Y2. So I take the reciprocal of this. Remember the admittance again is the reciprocal of the impedance. That's going to be 9S or the quantity 36S squared plus 1. And then, of course, the reciprocal of 7 is just 1 7th. And now I need to put those over a common denominator, as always. So that will be 7 times 36s squared plus 1, since there are no common factors in here that we get factored out. Um, and then that means I have to multiply this by 7 over 7, which will give me the 63s divided by the common denominator. And here I have to multiply the 1 by the 36s squared plus 1, and also multiply, of course, the denominator. Um, and so, uh, that just gives me the 63s plus 36s squared plus 1. Um, and then to find the impedance, um, I will take the uh, reciprocal of that value, the admittance. And so I just flip it upside down. So I have 7 times 36s squared plus 1 divided by, and now I, I want to write this in the standard order in preparation to enter it into circuit tutor. So that's going to be 36s squared plus 63s plus 1. And again, I don't need to factor um, the denominator in these problems or the numerator for that matter. Okay, so we'll go ahead and enter that here. So that's going to be the, the uh, 7 times the 36 uh, squared plus 1. And of course, you won't have the uh, cheating information there, but um, and then divide that by the um, parentheses 36s squared. 63s plus 1. And we'll check that. Okay, so that was correct. And then the final step, of course, is just to add these two impedances now, the Z2 and the 6 ohms that are in series as a result of the simplification that we've done so far. And so that's going to be the 7 times the 36s squared plus 1 divided by 36s squared plus 63s plus 1, and then add the 6. And uh, also something I'd forgotten to mention before, uh, we should check each of these steps as well. Um, so for example, in this case where you're adding those two fractions, you can now divide them to make sure you have what you got So originally. So 36s squared divided by 9s would just be the 4 times the s and then 1 over 9s is 1 over 9s. So it's always a good idea to check each of those things that you've added up um, when you're done to make sure that, in fact, it does give you uh, what you started uh, with. 
Okay, so in this case, I'm adding uh, these two things. So I have to put them over the common denominator, which here would just be the 36s squared plus 63s plus 1. Um, so I've got over a little bit. So um, I multiplied the 6 by the denominator here. And also, I'm going to multiply this out again. I'm going to distribute in simply because we're going to be adding those two polynomials. That's pretty much the only time you want to be distributing in. So the, the 7 times 36 is 252 um, s squared, and then plus 7. Then I have um, the 6 multiplied by 36 s squared is 216 s squared. 6 times 63 is 378 s, and 6 times 1 is just 6. And once again, of course, I, I need to simplify that result. So the 252 s squared plus the 216 s squared adds up to 468 s squared. And of course, you can use a calculator as necessary there. Um, and then the 378 s just carries down, and the 7 and 6, of course, are just 13. And then the common denominator. So that would be our result. Again, put in standard form, decreasing orders of s. So now I'll just uh, click over here to combine the series elements. and We'll just type that in. So 468s squared plus 378s plus 13, all divided by, and again, not forgetting the parentheses because that's crucial, uh, the parentheses 36s squared plus 63s plus 1. And that is correct. And now um, we'll just press the cannot simplify uh, further. But again, at any point, you could view the help or the video help or uh, give up for no penalty. So we'll just do that. You can also get a hint if you need hints on the series parallel. But OK, and that will then. Uh, show the transcript. And in this case, then it would ask you to do the survey um, and receive the certificate. So that completes um, this level.